Hey everybody. Um, today, as I am working through our request, this is a full body strength workout. Um, you'll have four sets. They are eight minutes long. All right. A lot of this stuff is right side, left side. Um, but we will be crushing every single muscle group. We'll hit them all at least one time throughout the workout. And uh, that's about it. So you guys do need a pair of heavy dumbbells, ideally, and a pair of lighter dumbbells, okay? Think about something you can press nicely over your head and something we can lat raise as we have those lat raises today. Um, also, if you have a bench, you can use it. You'll see me doing mine on my bench just to get me off the ground, but you guys definitely do not have to have one, okay? So four works completely fine. If you do and you want to use it, today's a good day to use it. All right, let's warm you guys up. Palms are facing down. Just roll those shoulders, little tiny arm circles. Just a bit. And take those palms up, take it back. And give yourself those hugs. And you take your knuckles up to your temples, you're gonna tap your elbows together, open them nice and wide. Open that chest, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Two more. And then take those feet about hip width apart. You're gonna take it down, hands to toes. You're gonna to bend your knees in and extend those legs. Bend them in and then extend. So drop that bottom a little bit. Back is fine in that bottom position. Extend all the way, head to the floor. One more. And take it on up, arms are up, lunge it back, open that chest up. <laughs> Two more. Kick it hello. And then take it in, give me those squats. Feet hip with the part. We're going to be adding on to our squat. We're going to take it to three pulses. Ready? Three pulses. Take it up and twist. Three pulses. Take it up and twist. That heel needs to come up. Heel needs to come up. Twist it through. One more. I'm gonna take it up and over, reach it out. Oldie but a goodie. Remember, you wanna pretend like you're pulling that soup can off the top shelf. Pull it down, some tension in those arms. Two more. Last one. And take it down. I want these kind of nice and quick. Raise that heart rate just up a little bit. We're gonna take it to our windmills in three, two, take it up. Big windmills, crisscrossing. Alternate who gets to go first. Take it back in three, two, take it back. So everything's gonna be for 45 seconds. We get 15 seconds to rest or set up for the next movement. Swing it out and let's get going. All right, so your first one, you want one heavy dumbbell for all of it, all right? So in your right hand, weight's in your right hand, you're gonna step it out to the left, side lunge up, right arm press, all right? Left side lunge, up and out, right press. Then you're gonna take it over top, you got that balance overhead tricep, all right? So one leg up. So obviously do right side, left side, right side, left side. All right, right hands on, left leg is out, and let's go. Lunge it out, up, and press. It is two movements. We're not here, all right? Two movements, lunge it, hold it, press it. And that side lunge, you wanna step it out. Shoulders are back, chest is up. Pull that bottom back, get it low. 
And then press straight up, feet are about hip width apart. Ten seconds here. Let's get one more in. And rest. Nice job. Fifteen seconds here. I'm a little shoulder thing, so I'm gonna go one down for that tricep. I want left leg up first. We're ready in three, two, and let's go. Bring that leg up. So options here. You guys can give me that little kickstand. Just one foot down. Still using that balance. You can bring that knee up. Elbows are in. Strong tricep here. So we got 15 seconds. And we're softening that standing knee. Woo! One more. And bring it down. Nice job. All right, so we're going to the other side now. So wait. It's in that left hand. <laughs> Step it out to the right. Press it with that left. In three, two, and let's go. Lunge it out. Up, press with that left. Once again, we're gonna lunge with the right. Up, press with the left. Breathe it out, strong focus on that movement. We're not rushing through it. Well, something pretty sizable in that hand. Got 10 seconds here. One more. And rest. Nice job. Woo. All right, let's keep moving through them. All right, tricep. So left leg is standing this time. Weights up. And let's go. Remember, elbows are in here, so we don't want to look like this. All right, elbows are in nice and tight. Extend all the way up. Core's engaged. We're going to brace it. Woo, almost there. Two more, two more, get it in. And rest. Woo! All right. We get to repeat it all one more time. Heavy weights up. Step it to the right. <laughs> Step it to the left. I'll get this right one day. <laughs> ready, ready, and let's go. To the left. Up. Right shoulder press. I got that part on. Remember. Deep lunges, get low. You want to feel the inner thigh pull. Eyes are up. Fifteen seconds here. Don't rush to the movement. Side lunge, press, back down. Last one. And bring it down. We're sitting on our right leg this time for the overhead try. Ready, ready. And let's go. Elbows are in, team. And breathe. Relax our shoulders away from the ears. <laughs> Focus on that movement. Woo! It's burning. I'm feeling it. Got 10 seconds left. Got three. 
two, woo, weight down. All right, stepping out to the right, pressing with the left. I got it right finally. <laughs> ready, ready, weights in that left hand, guys. In three, two, and let's go. Out to the right, up, press with the left. Got this. Remember, we keep moving till the end. <sighs> Gotta give me 15 more seconds here. <sighs> we can get one more, one more. And bring it down. Woo! All right, last on that tricep. Thank goodness. <laughs> Stay on that left leg, guys. Stay on that left leg. Ready? Take it up and let's go. Got this, don't stop now. Keep moving that weight. Let it feel uncomfortable. Let it burn a little bit. Woo! Well, we got 10 seconds. You got that. Two more. Last one. And done. Woo! Awesome work. This is your water break. Take it. Hydrate, hydrate. We got our biceps up next. That way. One medium to heavy dumbbell. Heavier than medium. <laughs> you guys are going to be me a static back lunge hammer to a bicep curl, right? Let me shoot it sideways. So right leg's gonna start back, all right? You're gonna lunge it down, you're gonna give me hammer curl, so palms facing in, stand it up, and regular curl. So once again, lunge it down, hammer, stand it up, regular. Your second movement actually stays the same, it does not get to change. Do that seated V curl. Sit down, arms are out in that V curl. Once again, you as high as could take it down on that ground right here, all right? The bench is definitely optional here. All right, we're gonna start with that right leg moving. So right leg, right, strong lunge here. Shoulders are back, chest is up. Ten tiny seconds. Woo! Feeling that hip in three. Two, and rest. All right, taking it down for that V curl. We get to do this one uh, four times, right? Ready, ready, and let's go. Ideally, those heels are up, arms are out to the side. So if you need to, you can take your heels down. All right, completely cool. You do what you need. We're not fully sitting, so you don't want those arms to come all the way down here, right? Half curls. Ten seconds. Shoulders are back. Woo! Biceps are burning. In three, two, take it up. Left side. So left leg's back, left arm's using. All right, get yourself set. Left leg is back. Ready, and let's go. Lunge it down, hammer, bring it up, and bicep. So 
So that back heel should be up the entire time. He does not come down. Elbows close to your side, but not touching in those curls. Gets here. Last one. And rest. Nice work. Shake it up, whatever you need. Definitely my legs feeling it today. <laughs> All right, B curls. Get yourself set. And let's go. Remember, heels can come down. You can also do one. Those biceps moving. Come on, curl it up. Crush it. Woo! Oh, we still got 15 seconds. again, right side. Ready, ready, right legs back, set yourself up. And let's go, take it down, hammer, up, and curl. Focus on that lunge. Remember team, if you guys have any issues, it's okay. Just stay right here, all right? We don't have to lunge it down and back. Just gonna have that split stance instead. Or give to you can. If this is what you can, give that. Jordan is hunting Callie from the outside there. <laughs> Almost there. One more. And time. Woo! All right, be curls. These things are catching up to me. <laughs> All right, get yourself set. Yes, Jordan. Ready, ready. Legs up, arms out, and let's go. Outside, be curls. Remember, you want it hard but still doable. You should be able to make all 45 seconds without stopping. If you have to, go down in that weight. 10 seconds, you got it. Woo! One more. And rest. Take it up, shake it out. Last set. Ready, ready, left legs back, set yourself up. We don't want to waste. Toes are pointing forward, and let's go. Take it down and hammer. Up and curl. So watch those knees. Remember, we're not folding in, keep it out. You want a straight line. Engage that quad, pull it out. Woo! We got 15 seconds here. Feeling good, feeling good. We got three, two, bring it down. Woo! Do our V curls one more time. We got this. Shake it out if you need to. Remember, you get that 15 seconds. Take it. I don't often give it, right? <laughs> Ready? But it's time to go. And up and out. Let's go. Stay with it. 
Once you push it at the end, nobody's stopping. I can see you. Keep those heels up if you can. Woo, 15 seconds. Couple more. You got three, two, and rest. Woo, shake it out, shake it out. I'm gonna move my bench out of the way. All right. We don't need it for this next step. So you're gonna want medium to heavy dumbbell, just one of them. And then you're gonna want your two lights finally, all right? So that first movement has a little change to it, okay? It's gonna be a low row. I'm gonna be in a crescent lunge to a single leg deadlift, all right? So I'm gonna show you that sideways. So you're gonna have that right leg back. You're gonna give me two low rows, pull it straight back, then lift up that leg, and two low rows. Then send it right back down, all right? Lift it up just a little bit. All right. So right leg's going first. So I have a little dance real quick. All right, right leg, right arm. Ready, ready. And let's go. So crescent lunge, right leg is straight, low row, squeeze, squeeze, lift up that leg. Arch, there we go. And squeeze, and squeeze, and take it back down. So options here. You guys can just come here and tap the toe down. You see that? So we're down nice and low. You can bring it in, stand it up, so you put a little bit more pressure on that glute. That's all I want, is a little bit extra pressure on that glute. Pull it up, two low rows. My left side is not happy with me right now. <laughs> Woo, almost there. We got three, two, weight down. You want both of your light dumbbells this time. We have a single arm, full front raise. So arms are straight up, releasing one down, back up, other side, all right? Ready, ready, and let's go. Arms up, one at a time, take it down, raise it all the way back up. Very important here to brace yourself. So if you're leaning back here, you are gonna not let me later, later all right? So shoulders are back, arms are up straight, release it down. If you need to, take that offset stance right here. Keep it working. Breathe this one out. Don't worry, you get to change this one, all right? We don't get to do it this many times. Almost there. Whew, one more. And rest, nice job. All right, left side, left side, crescent lunge. Single leg deadlift, two lows on each side. Ready, set yourself up. Bring it down, and let's go. Two low rows. Lift up that left leg, extend it. Two low rows. Take it back down. Concentrate on your movement first. You might be wobbly. I was that last one. It's normal. Keep the elbow tucked in, nice and close. Almost there. You got three, two, and weight down. Woo! All right, light weight back up. Now we have a single arm lat raise. Palms are facing towards each other, one at a time. Bring it out to the side, arm is straight. Ready, shoulders back, chest up. And let's go. So if you're seeing yourself and you're like, oh my gosh, my arm is bent. That's because your weight is too heavy. You need to go down. First and foremost, that arm needs to be straight. 
Chest up to that shoulder level. Once again, offset stance is okay here. Woo! Shoulders are screaming a little bit at me. That's what we want, right? Almost there. One more. And rest. Woo! All right, we get to do it all one more time. So right leg is moving, right arm's pulling. Ready, set it up. And let's go. Two low rows. Lift that leg up. Two low rows. Bring it back down. Straight back into it. Ideally, there's no adjustment. Your second round might be better. Mine definitely is. Lean into it, team. Lean into it. You want that left leg screaming at you. That quad, that glute, that hip flexor. Woo! It's screaming very loud on me today. <laughs> you got three, two, and rest. I shall shake it out, shake it out. All right, light weight, light weights back up. You have that single arm, full front raise. Ready, square it off. Arms up, palms facing the front, and let's go. Bring them down. So you're switching at the top. We're not rushing this movement. And my arm is straight here as well. You cannot keep it straight. The weight's too heavy. You want to work it right. 10 seconds here. One more. And rest. Woo! All right, left side's grooving, left side's grooving. Left hand, left leg moving. Ready, steady it. Take it back and let's go. Throw it out. Lift it up. More rows. Squeeze that shoulder. Use that upper back. Woo! Remember, it should feel hard right now. That right side should be screaming. But you got 10 seconds. Almost there. You got three, two, and bring it down. Woo! All right, single arm, lat raise. Ready, ready. Weights up, palms facing towards, shoulders back. And let's go, raise it out. So we're doing single arm so you can concentrate on that single movement. On balancing each side, finding the strength on each side. You can also tend to lift heavier when you go single movement. Keep it up, keep it up. 15 seconds. Then we get to find what our last set is. You got three, two, and bring it down. Woo! All right, you're gonna need two heavy for your first and your third movement. You know, we want your medium dumbbells for your second. Look that way. If again, once you if you have a bench, you may use it. Floor completely fine here, though. Okay. So we're going to be doing what's called a kickstand squat. This is the one where you want those heavier dumbbells into an upright row. So I'm going to put all my weight 
on my right side. I'm not lifting up for that balance, I just want you to kickstand it. So that little toe's down, all right? Put it all the weight into that right side. And then squat it down, come up, upright row, all right? Squat, right back, upright row. Your second movement. You have your chest fly into a skull crusher. So palms are facing toward each other. Open it up. Light natural bend is all you need. And I give you two. And I'm going to give you two skull crushers. So palms are still facing toward each other. You're bringing that weight down by your ears straight back up. All right. There we go. All the weights on that right side. Upright row. So pick what you can row. Ready, ready. And let's go. So kickstand, squat it, row it up. So all that weight is in that right side. And that squat, you are pulling it back, shoulders are back. Feel those strong legs. 15 seconds here. Short sitting back team. One more. And bring it down. Awesome work. All right, two chest flies, two skull crushers. Take it down. Ready, ready. And let's go. Two flies out. Two skull crushers. Weight are down by your ears. Elbows are in line with your chest. And that flat, open it. If you're on the floor, you're just laying down. Knees are like this, all right? <laughs> and if you want to, if you're down that floor, you guys can more than welcome take it to that bridge position as well. Woo, breathe it out, breathe it out. Almost there. 10 tiny seconds. You got three, two, bring it up. All that weight's on our left side this time. Just gonna have to have a narrower squat, yes, so you don't wanna be out here. Bring that toe in, push all that weight in. Ready, and let's go, squat it up. Remember, on that upright row, palms are facing our body the entire time, so there's no movement in that wrist. We have what you call a strong wrist. Essentially just means no movement. So we're not flexing it up here, right? Keep it down. Woo! There's so much weight on that left side, you should be easily able to pick that right foot up at any time, right? So keep it loose. Almost there, almost there. One more. And rest. All right, bring it down. Two flies, two skull crushers. We're going in three, two, and let's go. Rock them out. Open it up nice and wide. So if you're on that floor, that tricep should touch the ground in that fly. That weight should touch the ground by those ears. If you're on a bench, open up as wide as you can. There's no floor to stop you. And keep breathing it. Woo! You got it. Open them bigger. Come on. Almost there. You got three, two, bring it up. So you got four minutes of work left, that's it. Almost there. All that weight's on that right. Push it down in there. Feet are close together, like you just can hover that foot. Ready, and let's go, squat it up. Two. 
Shorts are staying back. I don't want to see any of this, all right? Keep it back. Push to that glute. Feel that hamstring, catch it. Fifteen seconds. Push in that right leg. One more, one more. And time. Woo! All right. Closer and closer. Chest was ready. And let's go, let's go. Now, if you know me well, you know a skull crusher is one of my favorite hit tricep movements. Why? Because it's hard to cheat with any other muscle. It really concentrates on that tricep. That may be why they're a little bit harder for you too. And that chest fly, open it up nice and wide. 10 seconds. Got three, two, bring it on up. This is it. 90 seconds of work left. All that weight on our left side, team. Push it into that booty. Ready, ready. And let's go. Spot it out. Upright row. And push it to the left side. This should be loose. talking about that squat you forget you're rolling right make sure elbows are up coming to that chest make that pretty little bow you got 10 seconds you got three two weights down all right this is it Ready, ready. And let's go. Make it count. Remember, core is embraced here. So what does that mean? Pull the belly button into your spine. Keep your lower back pressed into the floor unless you're in that bridge position, of course. Here. You got 10 seconds. Let's keep moving that way. You got three, two, and done. Woo! Awesome work. I hope you're a little bit sore. We're going to stretch it out. Finally get some water. All right, let's send it out to the right side. Pull it through. I'm gonna feel nice, stretch that left side. Now you're gonna extend your right leg, take your hands, both hands down, chest is to that knee. center and then over to your left side. Extend that left leg, bring it down. And bring it up, slide those legs together, left arm straight across. Relax your shoulders.
take it up and back. Open that chest up. Feel that tricep stretch as well. And bring it down. Oh yeah, other side. Up and back. You're gonna try to get that hand in the center of your back. If it's not there, don't stress about it. Just work on getting it there. Swing it out. Hug yourself. Oh yeah. Give that chest stretch. Open it up. Pull those arms back. And then bring it forward. Scoop those abs in. Round your back. Take it up. Pull those arms up. Make yourself an inch taller. Swing it out. We're going to stretch out that quad and we'll send you on your way. Left leg up. Remember, if you don't want to be out here, you want to pull those knees close together. Heels to that glute. Swing it out. Oops, I just kicked my bench. <laughs> Take it to the other side. Swing it out. Take a nice deep inhale up. Exhale out. And you are a done. Awesome job today. Way to crush it. As always, I love to hear your comments and any requests that you guys have, holler at me, okay? And if you haven't already, subscribe down there, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a good one.